Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are here with uh, Arcadian, I think, uh, Tim Henriksen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what just happened? You took all the pistol rounds on three maps, but... Yeah, well, it was still a close match. Uh, I don't know. I think we... Both on, uh, on Nuke and Tuscan, we started to choke a bit, I think. Uh, we got some shaky legs and uh, they started uh, clutching some uh, important rounds. Uh, I can't really explain it. Uh, I think uh, one of the reasons why we just started losing rounds as terrorists and Tuscan was because we started playing too fast. We know that they play an aggressive uh, counter-terrorist side and like to push uh, either the B or A uh, safe. Uh, so that was one of the reasons why we didn't close the match on Tuscan earlier at least. Uh, on Nuke, we had a lot of luck going ramp in the beginning. Uh, and when we started attacking B1, it wasn't as, as successful. And uh, we just got crushed in the overtime, so that, was, that wasn't good enough. Okay, so uh, would you say that Moscow 5 is kind of overperforming this event? Because we haven't seen them. Uh, they have Drew SK, 15-15. They are giving you a really hard time right now. Well, they've been playing together for a long time uh, and I know that from experience that they always practice a lot and are very serious. They like to have a coach backing their matches to make up, and he, you know, he check up on their mistakes. So I think they're, they have improved a lot since the tournaments in uh, Hanover. Uh, I w I, to be honest, uh, after practicing against them online, I didn't expect them to perform this well. So I'm a bit surprised, uh, but I don't know. Uh, the, the scene is getting tighter and tighter, and there are more more teams pushing for the top all the time. So I, I wasn't too surprised. Uh, they're a good team. Yeah. And uh, would you say that um, MTW has kind of always been up there, but ever since 2008, uh, the gold medals are kind of scars. Uh, does that bother you? Yeah, well, at least I don't know. I'm, I'm just glad I haven't played in the team as long as Minute and Trace, because they haven't won that much in that one and a half year. Uh, I don't know. I think that one of the main reasons is the amount of uh, you know hunger for success. We don't practice as, as much as they did in 2008. Uh, we try to practice as much as we can, but we have four people who goes to school, and uh, you know, especially here in the summer with the exams and stuff, it's it's difficult to find the time because you need to study as well, uh, and that affects our game. You know, when we played. Uh, the tournaments in Kiev and Hanover, we had practiced a lot, and I think we were very warm. And to be honest, unlucky to win, to lose the final in Kiev. Uh, but uh, the amount of practice since uh, since those tournaments have been very small, and that that's a, that's the, one of the reasons why we aren't as uh, as warm as we were like four months ago. So, uh, how many hours do you think you have uh, played together for the past two weeks? It's not that much actually because Minute has just moved into a new apartment and the internet provider made a mistake so he didn't have any internet, he only had USB internet and uh, sometimes he, uh, he started to get ping 500 and then it was impossible for us to practice. So I would say maybe like three or four hours, two or three times a week. So not as much as many of the other teams at least. Yeah, not nearly as much. Um so would you say that uh, if you get rolling during this tournament, you might be able to step it up a bit further once you guys get really into the groove? Yeah, but I think that some people just started to step up during the match here. Uh, Trace was fucking hot on the uh, Tuscan T side, pulled off a lot of uh, good AK frags. Uh, Minute also played some uh, good sides, Ave as well. So I think that with our routine and uh, with people getting warmer as we've been playing a lot of hours so for the last two days, I think we can. Uh, I can think we can beat ESC and then make it to the final, and then anything can happen. Okay, so you're saying uh, the number one, two, and three on the podium tonight are MTW, SK, and Navi. In that order? Yeah, in that order. I think SK will be Navi. Okay. Well, we were kind of saying the same in our uh, previews. Uh, so uh, let's see if it comes through. I wish you the best of luck and uh, see you around. Thank you. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.